Another organizational item that we need to take care of are the regular and committee of the whole meeting dates for the year of the 2015-2016 school board calendar. Um, several years ago, we used to approve two years worth of um, meetings, but in the last few years, we've been doing one year at a time. And so what you have in your packet is you have a uh, meeting schedule uh, every second and fourth Tuesday like we've been doing uh, for the six years that I've been on the board with the exception of uh, the fourth Tuesday will not happen in the summer months um, so that's a little bit May June July or excuse me June July and August and December, December and January uh, just December Kevin, we had a May 5th meeting. I'm assuming this is uh, taking the place this of This is it. taking the place of the May 5th meeting. So basically what we did by the, the practice before I became superintendent was to approve two years, but that was basically setting a meeting schedule before you knew the upcoming years, the second year's spring break, holiday break, winter break, and those things. So the reason we went to one year annual meeting calendar so we can, we, we had a couple of meetings that fell when spring break. We didn't have staff present to present. And, so that's why this was altered. All right. Resolve that the board. Okay. Should I ask my question after you well, make the motion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've asked two years ago. I asked four years ago. If the committee of the whole meeting, if there was any other day that it could meet on except for the fourth Tuesday, which conflicts with the Conservation Commission, because I do is out at the beautification day in the rain on Kiwana South chopping. Buckthorn, <laughs> and um, I, I would like to still be able to be part of that, but we've tossed around possibly meeting on Thursday of the fourth week or the third Tuesday. I mean, is there any other day that we could have that committee of the whole meeting? Is anybody wanting to make a date other than the date? In the counter that I've uh, put in the board, I'll say the same thing I say every year. It's I'm flexible. If Me I know too. in advance, I can come on a Thursday. I don't know, Kevin. Though, does it no any reason be a problem scheduling it? Um, I don't know about scheduling. It just helps with consistency, just to keep it on Tuesdays at seven. But it's obviously a board decision. I think if you change one, I would recommend you try to change both. That people know, you know, there's a board meeting on a Tuesday or a Thursday. I would prefer the consistency, and um, I don't know how the TV people. There was a conflict. You're right. There was a conflict on that's Thursdays right. with Gary Prokset's. Right, he could that's not televise yeah. the Thursday committee of the whole meetings because of a class he teaches at Columbia. Resolved that the Board of Education Township High School District 2A Cook County, Illinois, hereby affirms the regular and committee of the whole meeting dates for the 2015 2016 school board calendar as presented in the April 28, 2015 board agenda packet. Second. Second by Mr. Cindy. And the schedule is attached and will be posted on the website if approved. Any further discussion? Let's go for the roll. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Dr. Keene? Yes. Mr. Welch? No. Mr. Welch? Yes. Mr. Ruska? No. Mr. Gritchen? Yes. And Mr. Sinden? Yes. The motion passes. Or if you want to propose something specific, I'd be willing to consider it. We, well, now, know, we now know that Thursday doesn't work. So. Right. I've, re I've asked for four years. I, I will submit my resignation because it's not right that I should be on a commission and never attend the meetings. They have been patient for four years. I think I've worked with this board, and um, there's been times when we've made adjustments and made meetings, but that's all right. I can still volunteer and do the work. Okay. So moving on, another organizational item is the authorization of signatories for the board. In addition to the president and secretary, 
This is usually a formality that's done during our organizational meeting with the new board. Um, What's and basically, it? we're also including the, the vice president. So if someone resolved like that the Board of Education Township High School District 2A Cook County, Illinois hereby affirms the authorization of vice president as a signator for the board in addition to the president and secretary as presented in the April 28, 2015 board agenda packet. Is there a second? Second. I'm sure you explain this every other year, but what I, I the, missed the second. Ed. Yes. Mr. Jepson was second. Uh, how did the the president's secretary is that in our policy where they have the authority and so our policy doesn't allow for the vice president but we vote on it every two years in the absence of the president the vice president would say okay and does it say that in the policy let's pull up our policy we have it online i couldn't pull it up earlier i, I mean i just make a suggestion if that's we, instead of voting on every two years maybe the Change policy it. council policy can think council. about changing the policy we'll put yep. that put it as a note has a note for the policy council and <clears throat> okay. Any other further discussion? We'll go for the roll. Dr. King? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 Authorization of signatures for impressed account and financial reports. Resolved that the Board of Education, Township High School District 208, Cook County, Illinois, hereby affirms the authorization of the Chief Financial Officer and the Superintendent as signatories for impressed account and financial reports as presented in the April 28, 2015 Board Agenda Packet. Second. Second, Mr. Walsh. Any discussion? We'll go for the vote. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. yes. 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 In my personal favorite, the designation of district newspapers. Resolved that the Board of Education Township High School District 208, Cook County, Illinois, hereby designates the Suburban Life newspaper and the landmark newspaper as the newspapers of record for District 208 as presented in the April 28, 2015 Board Agenda Packet. Second. Second, Mr. Walsh. I know this gives some flexibility to the board secretary for putting items in the newspaper, and um, we do have two local newspapers, so we have a we have a choice. We kind of rotate between both. We give our business to both. Yes. Okay. Any further discussion? Yes. Can we have like an official reporter? I don't believe that's called for in the policy. Uh, all right. So we'll go for the vote. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 The designation of the district depository. Resolve that the Board of Education Township High School District 208, Cook County, Illinois, hereby points the First American Bank, Riverside, Illinois, as the depository of record for District 208 as presented in the April 28, 2015 Board Agenda Packet. Second. Second, Second by Dr. Keene. Any okay. discussion? We'll go for the vote. Yes. 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 At this point in the meeting, it's the second opportunity for visitors' comments. Again, the Board of Education welcomes and encourages the participation of its citizens in the business of the school district. Uh, there are two points in the meeting where visitors' statements are scheduled. Uh, we've read this before. Uh, please refer to policy 2 colon 230 public participation and Board of Education meetings and petitions to the board and, and basically if you want to address the board for a longer time period you need to submit that in writing 48 hours before the, before, before the meeting. Is there anyone on this side like to speak? Seeing none, anyone on this side? 